The giant of the social media world is celebrating a milestone. Facebook, 10 years old today. News 13's Frank Crocker joins us live from the newsroom. Facebook continues to change the way we interact with each other, Frank. It certainly does. We use it for virtually everything, work, church, school, entertainment, sports, and for simply making friends. And it's all because of a 19-year-old who saw the future of communication. Mark Zuckerberg was a student at Harvard who wanted people his age to be able to connect, share information, and socialize in cyberspace. This is what the Facebook profile page looked like when he launched it way back then. New features were piled on over the past decade to create what we see and use today. There are now more than a billion monthly active users, ages 13 and way up. Facebook is not just for college students anymore. A normal day at the High Five coffee bar in Asheville, people poised over laptops, but also reflecting on what has become part of their everyday lives. I guess I would say it's kind of revolutionized the way people let each other know about events. It started um, because I wanted to reconnect with uh, people from high school and old friends. I would say it would be difficult for me to stay aware of events if I terminate my account. And there's a gift from Facebook on this 10 year anniversary. This is so weird. That's, you cool. have a date. Wow. That's my mom. A look back is a one minute personal slideshow created for every user, a collection of things you have posted. Mixed reviews from the critics. I thought it was a unique choice of pictures and events. Like, I don't think those were the highlights in my last five years. Oh, I thought it was great, actually. I didn't expect to see so much stuff on my, uh, my little film because I didn't really post that many photos. Of all the things I've ever posted, for them to just randomly grab that, it's kind of puts in, in your face that everything you've ever typed on the Internet will never go away. And there's the local Facebook connection, the data center that opened in 2012 down in Forest City. Now, if you haven't checked out your A Look Back, you can just go to WLOS.com, click on News Links, and we'll get you there. Reporting live from the newsroom, Frank Crocker, News 13.